Hello everybody. And this video will show and demonstrate some of the functions of the machine learning studio of Azure. First of all, try to navigate to this URL, which is studio.azuremlmachinelearning.net. You're going to see this interface. It might ask you for a login. Create a free account as I have here on the name and let's get started from here. Whenever you go to the machine learning studio, uh, you can have some of the already existing experiments if you already had. If not, we'll show how we can get with this um, uh, testing for the new module. It might tell you this message that it is going to be retired in August uh, 2024. So it's okay, you can use it now for the demonstration. So we can just close this network on. After you close this window, you're going to see if you have any other samples or experiments. I know we'll go here and start a new experiment together. Uh, for demonstration to go with very easy sample that already exists, I'm going to use the, um, the sample from the UCI for the adult to class um, data set. So you go here and say open in the classic um, studio. Whenever it opens here, it will start to show you this that the experiment is almost in downloading just click ok for now and you're going to see this how the machine learning studio looks like here you can see all the saved data sets data format data transformations and if you add any textual analytics or statistical function you can just drag and drop from here when you get any function you just click on it get the functions that you need and the drag and drop will like Right now, I just will remove this for now because I want to use the one the built in. If you can see here, you have the enter manual data. If you click on this arrow here, it tells you what the input looks like and it's expecting a CVS file with some headers, which is the column name, age, work class, um, education, material states, and so all of this information that will be used in the CVS files that you have here. Other than that, I just will be closing this part so you can see better. You have an important data. For the imported data or import data, if you click here, it tells you that this download for the other sinus data from the UCI data repository. We already use it because it's an open data and this is the URL for this data. If you're going to copy and paste here, so let me copy and open this add this another URL just to see how it looks like. It will take time because at the end is just file. If you can see this file that if we will open it. I can open it in any format or I can use Excel. I can even use just WordPad for now just to look how it looks like. I can see it's a CVS file with the column separated file for every entry and it goes on and on. So this is the input for my machine learning. I will close this for now. I will close this tab too. And then it executes an R script. If you get here, it tells you if you want to add any columns or notification, but this is how the script looks like. It's an R script. It's very similar to MATLAB when it uses the import data for port 1 and port 2 to do two sets, data set 1 and data set 2. It does an operation here to send the column and rearrange them, and then it makes the output. So you can see also what's happening in that module for the R script. And at the end here, just will minimize this one, you have the summarized data. And summarized data also, if you want to know what it is, just click on it and see what property it has. So it's basically just a summarizing of the data, as you can see. To run this model and start to see what's inside, very simple, just go here to this button at the bottom and click run. As you can see, it will start to run the module. It tells you queries and the running time of the model. You can see how it will check one by one and it will check the R script. 
and go to the summarizing of the data. Yeah, and here we go. We just run the script. If you want to get any information to see what's going on, you can click and tell you where's the start time. You can view the log of the impression of the start and get the verbose information out of it and all the run in front of you. So it's a very, very simple way to run any module. Now, after we look at this simple example, I want to go and see, look at a more uh, another example that also built in. It uses for the intrusion detection. So it's in a KBB. I'll just go back to my experiments. In my studio, you already saved this for the intrusion detection, and you can get it from the binary classification also. So basically, if you didn't use it before, you can also go to new and go to binary or intrusion intrusion detection model. You can see it here, and you can say open the studio to do the same thing now. And you can see this, the loading is happening. It you take time to be loaded, okay. Now we can see that we have uh, much more items or much more steps to do this system. And it tells you it's binary classification, which is just a simple test to see if a packet is an intrusion or not. That's all. And to zoom in a little bit, I'll use this, the, the button here. And you can see how the module is talking about getting the data, import the data, use to edit the metadata, convert to indicate value, select the column that you need to new data set because the end all the data will be in data sets. And the other side is how you can get the data converted if you have another data set. And then the interesting part whenever you see this algorithm here it tells you the selection so it, it reduced from one domain to another this is the icon for it and you can see it's called data transformation right here on the left and this is the icon this is for all for the feature extraction and but if we go a little bit to the downside here you can see this small icon the screen this is the machine learning algorithm so in this case, in this specific mode, they use different machine learning algorithms, starting from the tunnel mode, hyperparameters, two class booster detection, and also the score module. And they feed one algorithm after the another, and at the end here, they will send the columns to the data set, and you can get the execute of the R script. The R script here, all what it does, as you can see, it, detect, it gets all the logical um, columns from the C frame, from the output from data set one, data set two, and try to set you what the algorithm are used for the AUC, and it exports or outputs the data set of the selected parameters that are not traffic or the intrusion detection. Again, we just zoom out from here to see what, what it is, and. As you already know, to run any module, all you have to go, just go to that button at the bottom here and click run. It will take a moment. If you can see, it will do the same thing. It will just query. It will go through every block of this diagram and try to validate it. Because this module is a little bit bigger and the data is actually much higher. The data coming from the KDD, I guess. Um, I don't remember which year is it, 1999 or 2000, but I, I, I'm not sure about that. But this one of the available free data for intrusion detection system that is used in many algorithms. And it will take its time to go all the modules and get you the output after that. So by this, you get an idea how to use the machine learning studio 
of Azure, I would highly recommend you to play with this model. And as a homework, I want you just to submit this screenshot of the model while it's running or after running. That will be your homework. Thank you.